Hi and welcome to this week's gaming pickups video. In this video I've got so much to show um, on so many different consoles I'm not quite sure where to start. I've got some games that I used CEX voucher for. Um, recently went in and dropped off some of my doubles and got a, a fairly good voucher so I've uh, cashed that in and got some extra games. Also been cash generators from some games there. A donation from a friend, uh, charity shops all sorts of places uh, hunting games this past week so um, I'm gonna just dive right in um, so I'm gonna start with a donation which was from a friend of mine Mike um, he has given me something for the collection and um, that I to be honest already had one of um, but um, it's a, a four player game so Extra bongos are always helpful, and from that, you might guess it is Donkey Konga. Um, the Konga pack, the game's in there, the bongo drums are in there. Um, it's in really good condition, and I like I said, I've already got the, the Donkey Konga one, um, but he also gave me the sequel, the Donkey Konga Jungle Beat uh, Konga pack. Um, so now I have. Two of the original conga packs and one of jungle beat so i may try and get another jungle beat and that way when friends are around and we want to play donkey conga or everyone wants to laugh at how bad i am at it um, we'll all have uh, our own little set of congo drums uh, i've got a few other bits for nintendo um, but i've also got an accessory for the gamecube so i'm going to start with that this one was a bit of a random find um, it was only a pound um, and that is the microphone for the, the GameCube. Um, I believe this was with Mario Party 6 and 7. They, they brought out the, the microphone so that you could do some of the voice based games. Which is quite cool. Um, didn't have one. I've got Mario Party 5 on the GameCube. And I don't think I've got any of the others. So if I get them then I'll be able to give that a try and see how it all works. Um, and then I've got just a few games for Nintendo consoles here, so we have for the Wii, Your Shape, which is a Ubisoft camera game. Um, unique in the way that it works because with a lot of the, the Wii games and even the Switch games for fitness, they tend to use the Joy-Cons or the Wiimotes to monitor, uh, monitor, monitor how you're moving and make sure that you're doing it right. This uses the camera. Um, it didn't come with the camera unfortunately, but I believe the box set with the camera is only a pound fifty at CEX, so there's a chance that I'll just pick that up at some point anyway. Uh, also, one that I've been coveting for a while, and so I used my voucher for uh, the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Walker HD. Absolutely loved the original release of this. Never played the HD version though, because um, I didn't have a Wii U. I've now got a Wii U, but I've got very few actual games that I want to play on it. This is probably one of the only ones that I've got. So the Wii U will be all plumbed in at some point soon, and I'll be getting into that. Okay, and then a bit of a random one. I saw this in the game sale for, I think, £20, um, and was fairly tempted to buy it, and then tripped up over it today for half that price. Um, and that is Come and Visit Truberbrook. Um, from what I can tell, it's a, a sci-fi point-and-click adventure game. Um, looks like it's quite good one, full voice acting in there. Um, and from the, looking at a couple of reviews online, it does actually state that it's quite a fun game. So uh, I will definitely dive into that at some point soon. Hopefully when I finish the game, that seems to be taking me forever to finish. And that's uh, The Fractured Butthole. I am positive I'm at the end of it. But the last few nights I've just not got into actually playing it because I've been setting up a new sound system. Um, and it's been a bit of a, a trial and um, getting everything plumbed in correctly and all of it outputting across the 5.1 setup. And yeah, that's finally done though um, as of about three or four hours ago. So now I can actually start playing games again and I will finish that South Park game by hook or by crook. Uh, I do have a couple of other Nintendo games though, um, some 3DS games. Um, these I found this morning when I went off to the doctors, uh, popped into Cash Generator on the way past, and they were just putting these on the shelf for five, £5 each, which I think is an absolute bargain price. 
Um, so I got Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Super Pokemon Rumble, and Mario Party Island Tour. Do like a good Mario Party. Um, so yeah, five pound each. And I think I did very well there. Um, I'm very happy to stick those in the old collection. Okay, what have we got next? We've got oh, there's another Nintendo game right at the bottom of the pile. So I'm gonna knock everything everywhere. Let's try and get to it. I got this a week or two ago, and I just completely misplaced it. Um, and it is Guitar Hero Modern Hits um, for the Nintendo DS. Um, now this has come from game and you can see that they've very kindly stuck stickers all over it which is a real shame because the box was actually in fairly good condition. Um, I've not managed to get them off when I started. As you can see here I lost a little bit of the label and it started to irritate me so I'm going to have a go with a hairdryer uh, at some point and see if I can just melt the adhesive and get them off without making too much of a mess of the case. Um, either way I do actually remember playing this when uh, it came out and I was on the bus, sat at the back with my DS thinking I was the coolest kid on the bus, strumming away, I really wasn't the coolest kid on the bus. Um, but it was quite a fun experience. Uh, next I've just got a random Mega Drive game, again this is a game that I got with my CEX voucher, um, and that is Super WrestleMania. I did actually get the case for this quite a while ago with the instructions from a lot on eBay and unfortunately it was missing the game and I've been looking on eBay and it's about five pounds for the game so I was hoping to trip up over an unboxed copy at CEX for I think it's two or three pounds that they sell it for but they never seem to have it in. Uh, this week they actually had a boxed version of it that didn't have the instructions and um, the box was a bit knackered but it was a fiver and so I thought I'm using the voucher so I might as well treat myself and finally put that game on my shelf. Um, so I, I did and so now I've got a spare box, albeit it's a little bit battered, um, that I can use for another game, one of the loose ones maybe. I've got a few loose cartridge games for the Mega Drive that could do with being put somewhere safe. Okay, we'll go on to Xbox next. So, not much to show for the Xbox, hence why I'm going on to it next. Um, but we do have um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and what I thought was FIFA 12. But when I opened the case up in the, the charity shop, it's actually Need for Speed Carbon. Um, I don't think I've got Carbon, so I'll probably keep it in my pile of disc only games and that way I can play it at some point. Also for the Xbox, this time for the one, um, I got FIFA 15, this was just in a, a free for a pound from a charity shop, um, I know it's not particularly worth much and I'm not sure if it's even in my collection, um, but I do have a couple of Xbox games that I've got not so great boxes on the one, so Worst case scenario, it becomes a donor case if I've already got FIFA 15. Okay, and that brings us to the PlayStation. So, I'm going to start with the free and work backwards. Um, so, for the PlayStation 3, and this is just another one of those free for a pound games, I got FIFA 11. Um, but I did get some PS2 games, and one of which I am very happy about. Um, and one of which I've got two of, so we'll, we'll just work through that pile. Uh, so we have Colin McRae Rally 3, and this was in that free for a pound. Um, quite excited to play that. I've got the early Colin McRae's on the PS1. I'm not sure I've got free, so it'll be uh, fun to get into that. Uh, also got Crazy Taxi. Uh, I've got that on the Dreamcast. Absolutely love it on the Dreamcast, but never played the PS2 version. Um, so I figured I'd give that one a look. And then I've also got two copies of Red Faction. Um, again, one of these was in the free for a pound, so I was just trying to get as many games out of the, the shop as I could. Um, and they only had Red Faction left, so I grabbed that. Um, but also got one off the, the chap on the market who does me uh, a lot of deals. Um, 
Also though, and this is another one from the, the old voucher, uh, I got Time Crisis 2 with the G-Con 2 gun. Uh, it's got all the wires, including the AV cable, so that you can connect it to your TV and use it as a light gun properly. Um, very happy with that. I do love the light gun games, and I am actually quite excited to play it. I mean, I've always wanted to try the, the sequels to Time Crisis. I've got the the two on the PlayStation 1 with Time Crisis and Project Titan, um, but never actually played any of the ones on the PS2 or 3. I might already have Time Crisis 3, um, but didn't have the gun for it, so now I've sort of got a way to actually play that. Also, um, I've just remembered, sorry, wandered off across the room. Um, I did get some other bits for the PlayStation 2 and the Wii, a couple more accessories. Um, so I've got one of the DVD remote receivers. Um, it's got like a little infrared sensor here. Um, I don't think that's for the official one though if I'm honest. Um, so I'm not too sure if I'll ever find a remote that matches it. But I'll stick it in my box of random gaming stuff. Um, I got a 8 meg memory card for the PlayStation 2. And those two came bundled nicely in this multi-tap for the PlayStation 2. Um, not much I can say about it. The only thing that's quite interesting is it seems to take power. So it looks like you plug your power from your PS2 in here and then plug this into the PS2. And it just acts as a pass-through cable. I'm guessing the, the multi-tap requires quite a bit of power to run the four controllers and potentially four memory cards. Um, but it's quite an interesting thing. It, it was part of a bundle that I got from the market trader who sold me the SNES a few weeks back and he had that with a few games and he had a few empty boxes as well which I bought off him for the Nintendo DS because I tend to use those for Game Boy Advance games um, and then as I say I got a Wii accessory and that's just a little motion plus sensor um, that converts a regular Nintendo Wiimote into a motion plus one um, been after one of these and it was only 50 pence and I figured if I'm going to play Wii Sports Resort, I do need the Motion Plus sensor, and I believe it was actually released in a bundle, a big box that came with either a Wiimote that had Motion Plus or just the Motion sensor. I can't remember which. Okay, bear with me. Last bit, I promise. Um, unfortunately, though, it's all piled on the floor um, and just out of reach. Um, so we have some games on the PlayStation 1. So a couple of games from my old childhood collection here um, and they are seriously worse for wear but having found them I did feel like I should show them um, and so we have Rayman uh, this is one of the disc only games that we had growing up there was a video shop near us that a friend worked at and she would get the games when they decided that they weren't being rented out anymore and she'd give them to us um, in fact, looking at it, and you probably can't read it because it's all faded, but it's actually in the case of Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, um, which makes me think that there are still more games at my mum's house somewhere, we just not found them. Um, and then, there's another one here, and um, you probably can't tell too well from that one, but I used to print my own cases at home, um, and I used clip art, and so if you can guess what that one is, I'd be very impressed. But... It's one that I uh, did, and again, it is a Bug's Life, one of the rental copies, uh, again from our friend who used to work at the shop. The disc is horrendous on both of those, um, but they're quite cool little things and certainly blasts to the, my childhood. Um, okay, a couple of last things to show. Um, so this came from the Market Trader. Um, it's in really good condition, actually. Uh, and it is Command and Conquer. The case is a little broken, but the discs are really nice. Um, absolutely love Command and Conquer. I've got, I think I've got them all now on the PlayStation One. Um, I'll have to double check, but he only wanted a pound for it, and it's worth a pound every day of the week. Um, also, got Pro Pinball Fantastic Journey. Uh, I already had the web, but this is a, a bundle edition. Um, and so this one comes with both um, Fantastic Journey and the web see here inside which is again quite cool quite handy uh, I'm not too sure 
what I'm going to do. I might just keep both of them because then I've got Fantastic Journey and the web on the shelf. I'll have a think about that. And then finally, a big game for the PlayStation 1 and one that I've been after for a while and very nearly bought not long ago. Um, and that is Jade Cocoon. Uh, this is, I believe, a very similar concept or prospect to Pokemon. Uh, where you run around and train and breed monsters and you use those to fight battles. Um, perhaps not as got to catch them all sort of thing, but more fantasy adventure. Um, it is one that I've been coveting for a while though. I did see it recently in a shop and the disc was horrendous, but this one is absolutely beautiful. Um, interestingly, it's from the same area, so I'm wondering if it's just been traded in there and they've cleaned the disc because it looks like it has been through... A CD cleaner um, but it does look quite nice and I am definitely going to be getting into that soon um, I may even record a couple of videos now that I'm all set up um, and stick them on the channel anyway um, that's everything I've got to show sorry it's been such a long video but the as you can see there was an awful lot um, that I found over the last couple of weeks um, in the next video I think I've got some stuff on the way from eBay um, some uh, bits to fill cases. I've got a large number of empty cases and so I've been looking at the ones that I'd like to keep, the ones that I'd like to play and I've been buying the discs or the cartridges to, to complete those cases. So hopefully I'll have a few of those to show next week um, and until then, uh, thanks for watching.